Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. Today I wanted to talk about uh, 10 favorite house plants that um, I love them and I have them in my care, which are very easy uh, going as well and you water them when they are dry and they are very common. I will uh, go around my house and I will show you 10 uh, house plants that I really, really love and I can wait for them to grow. So the first one, which you can see, it's very, very beautiful and bushy as well. This is the marble, uh, oh, sorry, this is the manjula potos. As you can see, it's trailing so beautifully. And I really, really love this house plant because it's easy care. You just water when it's dry. Beautiful, beautiful house plant to have in your collection. So this is manjula potos. The second one, which is very, very beautiful as well. This is Maranta uh, Leucorea or something like that. Look how beautiful it is, all prayer plant. Very, very nice and very easy care as well. I love, 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 love the details on the leaves. Look how beautiful they are. Very, very nice. Absolutely beautiful. The third one, which is absolutely beautiful as well, this is the uh, Snow Queen uh, Potos. This is very, very beautiful. And of course, it's trailing for me, and I'm really happy. It's very easy care as well. You just water when it's dry. And I love the detail on the leaves as well. Look how beautiful it is. Very, very beautiful. And each leaf is very different as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful houseplant. I really, really love this houseplant. The third one, which I'm uh, new to this uh, houseplant, but of course is not really that difficult. This is the Lucky Bamboo. I love, 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 love this houseplant. Look how beautiful it is. And of course, you water when it's dry and it's going to thrive for you. Beautiful, beautiful house plant. The next one, I love, love, love this house plant as well. This is my Burley Max uh, variegated. Look how beautiful it is! Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful house plant, and I have new growth as well. As you can see, I keep this house plant in Leka. I hope it's going to grow for me. And it's going to give me more leaves as well. The next one, which I'm having trouble, but I hope is going to go well. It's my Philodendron White Princess. You can see there is a new growth as well, so I hope it's going to thrive for me. I put it up recently because I suffer from root rot, so. I put it in water, I propagate it in water, so you can see the new growth, which I'm really happy. The next one, which is absolutely gorgeous houseplant, this is my bare paw succulent. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful cactus. Carry on with my fiddly leaf fig, which is absolutely beautiful. This year, they give me one, two, three, four, four new leaves. Look how beautiful they are. Very, very nice. I love, 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 love this house plant. Of course, some of them, they are quite small, as you can see, and some of them, they are quite big. But I love, love, love this house plant. It grew so much this year. That's why I really, really love fiddly leaf fig. You can grow this fiddly leaf fig as a tree as well. So you can see um, the stem is quite long. And if you want to grow as a tree, you can actually downsize the leaves if you want. But I love, love, love this house plant, so I'm gonna keep it like that. I love the way it grows as well. Very, very nice. 
the next one which is very unusual house plant this is my philodendron tortum and I'm really happy because I can see the new growth as well very very beautiful I love 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 this house plant and I'm really happy that I have this house plant in my care so I will show you the next one which is uh, really beautiful This is my Cupio uh, Peace Lily, or Cup Cupio or Cupido Peace Lily, I forgot the name. But I really, really love the variegation on the leaves as well. Look how beautiful they are. Very, very nice. I love, love, love this house plant. And I think I have a flower as well. Look how beautiful it is. And of course, my Monstera Thai constellation, which it grew a new leaf for me as you can see how beautiful it is very very nice gorgeous 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 house plant i love 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 this house plant it's absolutely breathtaking very very nice i have so many to be honest with you so many favorites and this is another house plant which i love this is a variegated um, african violet look how beautiful it is and i love 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 the new growth as well very very nice and i have another one as well but it's very small i hope this one is going to grow as well you can see they are quite different but you can see the variegation on the leaves as well beautiful beautiful house plant the next one which I am absolutely in love with this house plant. This is my Syngonium panda. I absolutely love, love, love the variegation on the leaves. They are absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. I absolutely love this house plant. And you can see I have it in Leca. And to be honest with you, it really loves Leca. Syngoniums loves Leca. And of course, I have a new leaf as well. And I'm really, really happy. The next one, which I'm really happy about this one as well, because it grew uh, so much this year, next uh, last year, sorry, and continues to grow this year as well. This is my uh, Discidia watermelon. Look how beautiful it is. And trailing so beautifully. And of course, has flowers as well. This one flower for me nonstop. And it seems that it's very happy in my care. And I absolutely love, 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 love this house plant. So this Kidia watermelon. The next one, oh my God, I love this one as well. And I hope it's going to do well for me. This is my Calatia White Fusion. I do have few crispy leaves, but it's unavoidable, even though I have a humidifier but I think with this one, you need 100% humidity. And I do whatever I can to keep this one happy. I have another Calatia, which is Calatia Mosaica Network. This one is in Leca, and I'm really happy to be honest with you because I transfer it to Leca. You can see new growth. I am absolutely happy. With this one, you can see the new growth. And I can wait for this one to grow. Because it seems to be very happy in Leca. So let's carry on. The next one, which I think it's everybody's favorite. This is my confetti syngonium. Look how beautiful and lush this confetti syngonium is. I really, really love this house plant. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. And it grew so much. And I love the splashes on the leaves as well. Look how beautiful they are. They're absolutely gorgeous. And of course, new growth. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house plant. The next one. 
I love, love, love this one as well. And this one, I grew this one from cuttings. I just propagate in water and then put them in this pot. And look how beautiful they are. They grew so much. And I love, because it has uh, big leaves as well, I have small leaves as well, but I have big ones as well. And I really, really love uh, this Philodendron Mycans. The leaves, they are very velvety and beautiful as well. I love this houseplant. I really, really love this houseplant, how beautiful it is. Gorgeous. The next one. I love, love, love this one as well. This is my... Um, Exotica, I forgot the name, I'm not sure if it's Epiprenum Exotica, but look how beautiful it is. I think it's a Potos, Exotica Potos. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love the way it grew as well. And I cut so many leaves, to be honest with you, because it was, it was getting so long. And look how beautiful it is. I really, really love, love, love this houseplant. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful houseplant to have in your collection. And it's easy care as well. Let's carry on. And I will show you another one which I am absolutely in love with because it grows so well. And it's easy care as well. So this is my... Um, Lemon Lime Potos. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. And look how long it is. The vine is very, very long. And I love the leaves as well because it they have like a lime, 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 li, lemon lime uh, color. I really, really love this houseplant. Absolutely gorgeous and easy care as well. The next one, it's easy care as well. This is more like a green variety of the Cebu uh, Blue. It's not a Cebu Blue, but uh, I forgot the name, to be honest with you. But I really, really love this houseplant because some of the leaves, they have uh, splits as well. But I don't know which one. You can see on this one. I really, really love this houseplant. It's easy care as well, and look how beautiful grew, and uh, it's vining so beautifully. I love, 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 love this houseplant. The next one. Oh my God, I never thought that I'm gonna succeed with this houseplant. This is my Alocasia uh, Dragon, Pink Dragon, and I have a new leaf as well, and I'm so happy about it. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely breathtaking. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous alocasia. I really, really love this houseplant. And of course, I um, water when it's dry as well. And you can see the soil, it's very airy. It has a lot of perlite. And I'm really, really happy. This is the latest leaf. Look how beautiful it is and big. Absolutely gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with this houseplant. This is my Olocasia Pink Dragon. And the name, you can see the stems, they are pink, so hence the name. So this, this uh, Alocasia Pink Dragon, it's named after he, their stems because they are pink. I really, really love this houseplant. And of course, it's everybody's favorite, the next one. This is my Alocasia Black Velvet. You can see the leaves, they're absolutely gorgeous. They are very velvety when you touch them. And I really, really love this houseplant. I never thought that I'm gonna succeed with that, this houseplant as well because Alocasia in general, they are a little bit difficult. But look at this one. I'm really happy that this one survived. And I hope it's going to grow very well for me. The next one, which is absolutely breathtaking as well. This is my Calatia uh, white 
I forgot White Star or something like that. I forgot the name, but I really, really love the pink on the leaves as well. I think I have two types of Calathea in this pot because like you see this leaf it has a lot of pink and this one doesn't have at all so I think there are two types of Calathea but I'm really happy to be honest with you because I have two types of Calathea in just one pot um, they they are not really easy care because sometimes the tips they go dry so I think the humidity it's uh, it has to be like 80% or 90% for them so um, in my house I think the humidity is around 50 but it looks great anyway I love 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 this house plant beautiful beauty all of them they are so beautiful and um, beautiful and some of them they are easy care as well some of them you have to give them plenty of humidity for them to thrive so that's it for today i hope you enjoy my favorite house plants that i have them in my care please like and subscribe to my youtube channel adina kikiro plants equals happiness and give me a thumbs up it will help me greatly and uh, see you in my next video about uh, house plants in general common and rare as well and of course hoyas as well because hoyas they are my number one passion so have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye.